Hello, in this video, we're going to see how you can set up agentless metrics collection for Amazon Managed Service for Prometheus on Amazon EKS clusters. Before we get into it, let's look at the different problems that customers face with self-managed collection. It is really hard to set up agents and manage the lifecycle of the agents on any environment, particularly on Kubernetes environments, that do at scale. Agent management is really challenging and it can break when you're operating a large EKS cluster. And uh, it is difficult to uh, secure, patch, update, and support high availability, etc. And also, it is hard to provide the right size of compute that you want for the agents. Customers have raised these concerns with us and we decided to uh, solve the problem through agentless metrics collection. With agentless metrics collection on managed on Amazon EKS, you customers can use a fully serverless Prometheus compatible setup. It is fully managed, secure, and highly available. Customers don't have to pay anything upfront, no investment required upfront. You only pay for use. And with this, you can monitor any EKS environment at scale. Now let's take a look at the uh, AWS console and see a demo. Let's go to the AWS console, go to Amazon EKS, and let's create a new cluster. Create cluster. We're going to give the cluster a name. Let's call it Observe Everything. Leave the Kubernetes version as it is. Select a cluster service role. We'll select one of the roles that is already available. Now click Next. Here in the networking section, we'll leave it to defaults, the default VPC, cluster endpoint access as public and private. Click Next. Here under Observability screen, um, under Configure Observability screen, can enable send Prometheus metrics to Amazon Money Service for Prometheus. Uh, under Advanced Configuration, you can see that that is an option for us to create a scraper. And you can either create an existing, uh, give the scraper a name or leave it to default, and then select an existing workspace. And at the bottom, you can see all the scrape configuration. This is the Prometheus scrape configuration that will be used by the scraper to scrape the endpoints. You can edit, change, or even choose to upload a new scrape configuration file if you want. We'll leave control plane logging all of that to default click Next and look at the add-on screen. Click Next. This is the review screen where we see all the different options that we already have. Click Next and then now clicking on Create will create a new EKS cluster. Now we are on the EKS cluster homepage. We have the cluster created, the cluster details page. We can go to the Observability tab and see that the scraper is available. In fact, I have two scrapers because I also have to create one more. And you can see the remote write URL to which we are sending the metrics to and the entire scrape configuration and that was added when this particular scraper was created. You can have uh, more than one scraper as I um, showed you earlier. Let's go to the Amazon Manage Service or Prometheus service homepage and look at the workspace to which uh, we are sending the metrics to. We have a namespace called Observe Everything, and this is the um, workspace where the metrics are being sent mm -hmm. to. Let's go to the Amazon Manage Grafana console homepage. Go look at the workspaces. I have a workspace called Reinvent 2023, and inside that, uh, looking at the details, there's the URL that we can click to log in. The authentication is set to AWS IAM Identity Center. The username is filled in because I logged in before. I can type in my password. Once typed in, clicking Sign In. It'll take me to the Grafana homepage. Here, we can actually take a look at the data sources available. I have already configured the Amazon Managed Service or Prometheus workspace as a data source. And uh, we can uh, do a quick test 
and uh, the data source is working. Now I can go explore and find out if the metrics are there. Uh, all the metrics seem to be available. Can select one of the available metrics and query. Yes, there are metrics from the cluster that I um, set the scrapers to scrape Prometheus metrics from. There you go. That demonstrated how you can use Amazon Manises or Prometheus collectors to scrape Prometheus metrics from Amazon EKS clusters. Hope you liked the video. Thank you.